Hi YouTube, it's uh, Inamica4 again with the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to install the Synergen Mod 7.1.0 with uh, Android uh, Gingerbread 2.3.7. I've got 2.3.6 on this, so what I'm going to do is I'll just show you. It's just a rooted phone. This needs to be, in order to go through this process, it needs to be a rooted phone. And this one's already rooted. So what I'm going to do is just plug this into my computer uh, and we'll move the files over for the installation to the SD card of the phone itself. What I'm going to do is just open that up on the computer here. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do also is we're going to move, or should I say, put the files that you need for installation. Don't put them in a folder, just put them into the root of the SD card. So that's just on there, they're not in a folder. We've got two, one for the clockwork mod. Uh, recover, uh, sorry, the Synergen Mod 7.1 um, zip file and the Google Apps zip file because uh, it didn't, the Synergen Mod ROM doesn't come with any Google Apps. I'm not too bothered to be honest because I'm going to be recovering from a Titanium backup. So um, that's all we need the machine for, the computer for. So I'll just X out of that and then uh, we'll just go back to the phone. Just remove the USB lead. And then what we'll do is just power down. I should also state that you need uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery 5 in order to go through this process. If you have anything like 4, it won't work. So reflash with 5. Um, if you don't have 5, I'll put a link in my description of one of my other videos on uh, installing and routing with uh, a ROM that's 5 on it so what we'll do once we're in there just press volume up power and the home button together holding those down simultaneously until you get to the recovery console goes through this process twice so and I must say that this phone needs to be routed before you even try it so here we go just gonna zoom in here so you can see, you can see I've got Clockwork, uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery 5. Uh, so what you need to do is first of all do a wipe data factory reset to begin with. So volume rocker to go up and down and home to select. Um, goes through pretty quick. Once you've done the wipe data factory reset, wipe cache partition. Yes to confirm. Goes through pretty quick. And then once you've done that, go through to advanced and do a wipe delvic cache and we'll do wipe delvic cache that's done and then we'll also do wipe battery stats as well while we're here oops button. that's done so now what we do is go back there and then we'll do install zip from SD card and then we'll do choose zip from SD card and then you can see it throws you to the root. Uh, ESD card is the bottom one that we've got there. CM7 update. Yes to install. Now this should go through pretty quick uh, as it does there. Because it goes through quick we need to do it again twice otherwise you run the risk of boot looping. So choose SD card again and then update CM. There you go. And then it should take a little while longer on the second try because it does more. See, so it took a little while longer this time. And while we're here, we're going to do the Google Apps installation as well. So choose it from SD card again. And then the one beginning with G Apps. Put on there. So, yep, it goes through it pretty quickly to be honest. Now that's done. We'll go back the previous screen and then reboot system now and I'm just going to zoom out to just see you can see what you get should just let you guys know if you if any of you do get any boot loops where it just gets stuck on this screen um, or just keeps on rebooting to this screen what you can do is first of all uh, don't panic it doesn't mean that your device is ruined you can restore it back to a uh, backup that you did there you go you can see the little Android character there, Synergy Mod 7. So, presume as the arrow says, you just 
do something with him. There you go, home button did it. Um, okay. Well, I should say this is the first time I've installed it and I haven't really <laughs> read up on what to do afterwards. So, uh, let me just punch him up in. Okie dokie, now we're back on the home screen. Uh, what we'll do, just to show you what it is, go to applications, then we need to go to settings. Okay, now about phone and then I'll just like bring that in so you can see that Android 2.3.7 CPU details so Niger mod 7.10 Galaxy S2 you got the details there um, and that's how easily you can uh, install the Niger mod 7 uh, 2.3.7 Android version that is on the Galaxy S2 um, as I was saying if you guys run into any boot loops at all all you need to do is as I said before don't panic but um, flash it with the stock ROM of uh, or stock kernel should I say of your um, model number um, if that doesn't work reboot it um, flash it with just um, the clockwork mod recovery boot so at least you can get to that screen and then re uh, recover an Android image a backup image um, if that fails and you still want to get to this and you're one of those very unlucky people where you just won't do it then what I suggest is you clear the phone completely uh, flash it with a stock ROM um, root it from scratch uh, and then um, get a, or the update files and install them onto uh, uh, onto the SD card uh, and then go through the same process again and that's it and that's how easily you can um, that's how easily you can install Sonaja Mod 7 any questions or comments uh, if you get stuck on anything or you want to ask a question before uh, you install anything pop it down below hit subscribe from the button up top uh, just to check out some of my forthcoming videos uh, it doesn't cost you anything it's, uh, it's free and you can stay in contact with me um, and thanks for watching and goodbye uh, if you like this video give us a thumbs up cheers bye